Hi everyone, this is Ragdoll Dreams and this is a little haul video. So welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. And I went out of state for my daughter's spring break vacation with her and had an opportunity to visit a new antique store. So this place is called Quantum Antique Gallery. It's in Memphis, Tennessee, and I was blown away. There's also inside of that gallery, there's a garage that has some really awesome antique cars in it, a Mustang and some other Ford. I believe they were Fords. That was pretty cool. So let's get into it. My daughter bought a couple of things for herself. And then we were looking for some raggedy items. I did find a really cool handmade rag doll or a raggedy Ann, but I'm not interested in, <laughs> excuse you little girl. Well, that's fine. Hope you don't mind a cat um, crashing the video. So uh, anyway, as I was saying, before I was rudely interrupted by somebody, I was looking for Raggedy Ann and Andy and didn't really find a whole lot, but I came across this book and it just seemed like such a sweet little thing. And as you can see, it was 59 cents and it's not written by Johnny Gruel. It's called a tale, a tell a tale dot book. So I'm not, we'll go ahead and open it up. So this is the first thing I got. And then let's see, it was 250, but look at the art. We'll go ahead and look in here. So it's just a tiny book. I mean, let's see. It's about that wide the spine is. And let's see who published it. Okay, so there's there's Whitman, Walt Disney, Western Publishing Company. And it's just got several little little books, little cute books. Not very long. They had this in a section. One of the vendors had a whole bunch of old books like Sweet Valley High, Babysitter's Club, a lot of stuff from my time because I was a kid in the 80s, which I thought was cool, but I didn't want to. I went there with the idea that I'm not buying something just to buy something. Um, I'm pretty picky about my collection in general because you will find Raggedy Ann and Andy stuff everywhere when whether you're looking for it or not. And so I feel like if I start collecting everything I see, it's going to become excessive and I won't enjoy my collection. So that's why I, I'm picky about what I get. So that's the first thing. And my niece was helping me kind of look around and she found this next thing, which is very cool. I don't, I'm obviously not going to use this as a mobile because my daughter is 11. So we're past that stage, but I, it, it's by Knickerbocker and it is a crib mo mobile, mo mobile. I don't know how you say it and I'll take it out of the, but the fact that it was in the box and it was unusual and I figure what I can do is I can take the figures off and use them as decor if I want, I don't know yet, but look at this box. I mean, this is old, very old. And it says here, hand painted, all colors safe and non-toxic. You should hope so, right? If it's going over a baby and it's, it's number 3605. And then we'll go ahead and open it up for you. And you can see what it looks like. Oh goodness. Woo, something just fell. So it's got the camel. I'm gonna have to turn this around. Actually, let me come back to you. Let me fix this, but I don't know how to pause without really messing this up. So let me just pause for a moment and then we will come back when I've got this thing untangled. All right, so I'd have to look at it and see how you put it together. But right now I'm more focused on showing you. But this is Anne. Again, it's painted wood and metal. And then there's another piece here. Looks like it goes, it's there to hang on. I, I don't exactly know. Let me see if I can look at the picture again as a reference. Oh, okay. So it, it attaches to the crib. And then this part goes up and then it connects to this long piece. Okay, I get it. But it's all in, it's all in pieces right now. So... 
there's a puppy, a heart. Andy, I love you, Andy. You're so precious. Um, oh, okay. There's Ann and Andy on the camel with the wrinkled knees. And then there's a bear, a heart, and another Ann. And then this Ann would go up on the top. And then this part would connect to the crib. Hmm, that's pretty nifty. All right. Now inside the box, it has a little piece of paper that says, Dear Parent, Knickerbocker's Crib Mobile is not an infant's toy to be played with when your baby is old enough to reach this fascinating turning figures. Remove Crib Mobile from the crib and use decorative figures as wall decorations safely out of the crib of baby's curious hands. So it's just, a, it's just something where they're, they're obviously trying to prevent uh, strangulation, maybe, you know, uh, injury, getting this caught around your baby's neck or hands or something. So I see that that's for their protection, which is, yeah, you'd want to have that. I don't think this kind of thing would fly these days. We um, have learned some lessons about safety. There's a lot of toys that I had. I don't know if you guys remember this, but the little people, that you know, the really chubby little figures that, that we have now, my daughter had those as a, as a baby and as a toddler, and she loved them. But when I was growing up, they were skinnier, and they had little houses and a farm. I, I think I had just a car with the people, but a baby or a toddler put that in their mouth and choked to death. And after that, they changed the design of the of the little people. So, uh, and you can still find those on the secondhand market at antique malls. I see see that kind of stuff all the time. But I thought that this was a pretty neat piece. You know, something something different. And I'm glad my niece, with her eagle eyes, pointed it out. My cat seems to be interested. Maybe we'll use this as your mobile, right? I'm just kidding. Yeah, she's she's liking that. But yeah. So um, that's my little haul. I didn't get, like I said, it was a very small amount of things. I could have bought more, but I was trying to be wise with the finances and also, and this was very inexpensive, both of these items. And so I, you know, I thought this is nifty. It would definitely, if I can detach this, which I may, I haven't decided yet, I can always put these little figures on the doll shelf with the rest of the dolls. I do have another upcoming video because I have purchased a few other Raggedy Ann and Andy's and um, those have to ship out to me. So it'd probably be about a week before I get them. But I wanted to share this with you. So I hope you enjoyed this. Maybe you remember this from your childhood or maybe your little sister or brother had it if you're of that age. And so I just wanted to show this to you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for your patience with my cat being in the background because she likes to be in here. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.